Hi, everybody. I'm Mark Rogers. I live at 108 South 12th Street on the South Side. I um, am a parent, active in the community. Three public service announcements. First day, the summer grievers was today. We're having fun. Got the new shirt to show. It, it um, has great potential. And I think um, Pittsburgh public has spoken. The, the parents sending their kids off to the summer dreamers in good numbers. So that's um, hopefully that will um, really evolve into a great program that I'm sure it can be. Secondly, we're playing a little bit of water polo. I want to invite um, people to Peabody High School. They want to play. Um, it's 1030 to noon. Monday through Friday, so we're excited about that. We started playing some water polo in the city last year at the Hill and also at Shenley and um, got it worked out so we're playing at Peabody. And it's for boys and girls, so I want to really stress that. I, I go swimming, it's a, it's a, gender doesn't matter so much in there, the time matters. Um, thirdly, I've been appointed luckily to this um, task force on athletics, it sort of came out of this Title IX study. And um, I'm going to publicly state now my goal is to write a book related to how we can overhaul athletics. The, the task force is making some slow progress, but um, I think there's going to be a lot more to talk about and put on the table. But um, my comments tonight, I think it's very important that we get rid of all the feeder patterns for high schools. And then this conversation with the single gender school is um, a little less um, constitutional because the kids will choose to go there same with the gateway school or anything else. I think it's time now that the city um, grow up that way and get rid of all feeder patterns. We won't be forcing people. Um, and secondly, I could support the notion of an all-city girls public high school and an all-city boys public high school if these schools were in different buildings. Um, you know, the one thing that Flatter asked me was when Mr. Lopez took, spoke to the board recently and said there were no complaints about the model with 6 to 12. But we had a ton of problems at Obama. We're putting too many activities in the same building. You yeah. In basketball, for example, middle school boys and girls teams, high school boys and girls teams, JV boys and girls teams, six teams in one, then you throw in some wrestling matches or some off-season conditioning or some intramurals, it just doesn't fit. But if we had just one gender at Westinghouse or another gender perhaps at Reisenstein, that would be fine. And if all the people chose to go to those schools, and if they didn't, and if it was a bad idea, nobody would show up, and then we would know which schools to close. So uh, I think we need to not try to put too much program. And the wraparound programs at Westinghouse is pivotal into the success of the whole program. And you're not going to have any space to wrap anything around because the, the school activities are just going to absorb all the space. So we have to really separate the campuses on the boys and girls and make it all choice related. So um, there are a ton of 